name today is stay blessed. Please, I want your heart to be open because incredible things will happen in someone's life. After today, God will write your story. Some years back, I was ministering. And I came on a Thursday something. I said, be blessed. I didn't pray for anybody. Two children with sickle cell. Turned from essence to A. I didn't say be healed. I said, be blessed. And SS, with medical proof, they share their testimonies. I'm not preaching something I just read. I'm preaching something I have a deep insight of. This is the last day you will struggle in your life. In Genesis chapter 1, verse, don't say you know it because I'm going to physically demonstrate what I'm teaching by the power of the Holy Ghost. In verse 26 to verse 28, it says, God said, let us make men in our image after our likeness and let them have what? Dominion. He said, let the men we are going to make have what? Dominion. Over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, over the cattle, over all the earth. And over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created men his own image. In the image of God created him, male and female created in them. So the woman and the man were created the same day. She was not an afterthought. Male and female, she was created before she was made. He created the two people the same day, but the, the two were in Adam. He only brought her out when the time came. God, it was not an afterthought in God. God from the beginning created Eve inside Adam. It's a male and female. You create a building before you build the building. Create is invisible. Making is visible. He created the woman from the beginning. And then he said, and the first thing God told the people he created, he said, and God blessed them. He pronounced blessing on them. The first word Adam ever heard was you are blessed. And God blessed them and said unto them, it was the blessing that provoked everything God said. Be fruitful, multiply, the bloody earth, subdued, have what? Dominion. The first thing God did to man was to bless him. The first words Adam ever heard, God spoke, was be blessed. The words pronounced on him empowered him to prosper and succeed. Whatever made Adam, Adam was those words. Those words were not only for Adam, but for all of human race, including you and I. You were created to be blessed and to succeed. Before Adam fell, he had this he never knew anything about failure. Adam was not created to fail. The blessing is a divine endowment placed on man like a coat. It is God's ability and glory on you. It's a It is the blessing that brings the blessings. He had this and he had me well. When God blesses a man, he attracts blessings. I have not prayed for car. I have cars. A blessed man does not pray for houses. Those are byproducts of the blessing. When you are blessed, everything you are looking for just comes to you. This day, I pronounce you blessed in the name of Jesus. The leaf shaking is not the wind. It's an effect of the wind. So that a man buys cars is only showing that the man is a blessed man. Just like when you see a cursed man, you say, this man, the effects of this issue is causes. So also when you see a blessed man, you can see the effect. So don't go for the byproducts. Go for the product. When Noah came on earth, 
In Genesis chapter 9 verse 1. The first thing God said to Noah. After man faced And God blessed Noah. I was told in that that every new beginning. God will use that word. If God wants to start a new beginning for anybody. He will say and God blessed this person. Then the chapter of that person will be written. Today. God will write someone's story. He said, God blessed one and his sons and said unto them, the same thing he said to Adam that Adam lost, be fruitful, multiply, replenish. He repeated it exactly in Noah's life. He came to Abraham in Genesis 22 verse 2. And I will make of thee a great nation and I will bless thee. Anywhere you see anybody's stories about humility, God must use the word bless. And I will bless thee and make thy name great and thou shalt be a blessing. And the kingdom of God is the blessing that makes us. Abraham was blessed like Adam and Noah. He was empowered to succeed. Blessing is when you're empowered to prosper and succeed. All he had to do was to walk in obedience. Genesis 24 verse 1. He had this and, he had, and Abraham was old and was stricken in age. And the Lord had what? He had this. It is and the Lord had given him something. It is and the Lord had blessed him in all things. So when you're a carrier of the blessing, things just work for you. Am I talking to someone here? And on this first day, I'm speaking on someone's life. The blessing will speak in your life. In the name of Jesus. And he said, if you be Abraham's seed, then whatever God said to Abraham, then he said to you and I through Galatians 3 verse 29. That means everything that Abraham, if you be Christ, then you Abraham's seed and he has according to the promise. So everything God said to Abraham is to you. So today somebody's walking in that same steps in the name of Jesus. Yeah, this a man and woman, blessed of God, can never fail. I'm not failing because I'm the most powerful. I'm not failing because I carry the blessing. From today, nobody will identify you with failure. Yeah. The last failure of your life before this day will be the last in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Shout amen if you know you are the one. Yeah. Say, I can never fail again. I have the blessing. In Psalm 115 verse 12 and verse 13, it said, the Lord has been mindful of us, including you and I. He will bless us. Not he may, he will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. Can't you see Israel? The natural Israel. Are you getting what I'm talking about? With everything happening, you will know something is spectacular about those people. He said he will bless. He said he will bless Israel. That is it's unfortunate. He will bless us. Not he may bless us. He will. Whatever God says to one, he says to all. How many of God will bless you? You know we have commonized the word blessing because when somebody wake up in the morning, say God bless you, bless you, bless you. So, so it 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 carries no more power. Mari bredia kushanto bredia kuta. I'm not speaking just without in depth of insight. Somebody is blessed now. He said, You bless them that fear the Lord, both small and great. A blessed man will live a life without limitations. So it, it is time for me to work. That is W A L K. For me to work in the fullness of the blessing. In the fullness of what? Not have measure fullness of the blessing. In Romans chapter 15, verse 29, Paul speaking many said, I am sure that when I come unto you, see what Paul said, I shall come in the fullness of the blessing of the gospel. I'm coming in the fullness of the blessing. He said, I'm not just coming to make you excited, I'm coming in the fullness that everybody's story must change. Now I have come in the fullness of this blessing and I'm speaking to anyone at the of my voice globally it will speak in your life. 
Please value the blessing more than the blessings. Adam did not value it. So he committed treason with Eve against God. The blessing is on me, say that. Say it one more time. I have the blessing. I don't know whether you're but I have the blessing. Say it like a child of God. In 2 Corinthians 4, verse 18. While we look not at the things which are seen, but on things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporary. The things which are seen are subject to change. Temporary means subject. They are subject to change. But the things are not seen. The blessing is not seen, but it's permanent. When it's on you, it is visible. Put you anywhere you prosper. Let your shop be at the most remote area you succeed. When you carry the blessing, before anywhere you go, things will just work. I don't know who has been frustrated before glory reign. It is ending as I'm talking in the name of Jesus. So I'm a carrier of the blessing. Say it one more time. You may not look like it now, but I declare the blessing will show your life from today. Now look at the man Joseph. Joseph, they removed the coat of many colors, but they could not remove the blessing. <laughs> they stripped him of everything he had, dropped him into the pit, blessing took him. There was one thing they could not remove from Joseph was the blessing. They can sack a man, humiliate a man, but if he carries a blessing, he will still succeed. The brothers threw him to prison. <laughs> they threw him to prison and said, the blessing is on me. He prospered in prison. I decree this day, no matter where you are now, the blessing will begin to show in your life. It is not luck. It is a blessing. And the nature of God is to bless. Nature of God is to what? Now hear this. In Numbers chapter 6, I'm going to read the scripture that people know from, from where we are on the other side. I know the scripture before I became born again. When you want to close service, they will raise their hand and pray for you with this scripture. But reading scripture is different from understanding scripture. Depth of revelation is different. When I read this scripture to you now, you will see there will be visible proof in your life after this service. In Numbers chapter 6, 22 to 27. And Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron and unto his sons, saying, On this wise shall he bless the children of Israel, saying unto them, The Lord bless thee, and keep <laughs> the Lord do what? I know you know it all. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. That means bless you and preserve you. Because every blessed man is an envy of hell. God will bless you and what? Preserve you. The Lord make his face shine upon you. Now listen. I'll be very practical. So I don't think that I'm teaching theory. I want two persons to come up. Two persons, just two. Come, two. Two or three people come. Come, come, come. Two, come. Two, two, one person come. Stand here. Stay here. Stay here. Face him. Take the microphone. Take the microphone. Give me microphone. Stand here. Shift a bit. Shift a little bit. Now listen. Listen. Stand here. Stand there. Give. Stand, stand from there. Look at this man's face. Look at his face. Don't look at his face. Look at his face. Did anything happen to you? Did anything happen to you? Look, I want to be very practical. Did anything happen to you? Now, listen. I'm going to say the Lord blessed you and caused his face to shine upon you. This man will not be able to look at your face. Just watch. Look at him again. You two come and stand. Two of you. Two or three stand. You two stand. Look at this man's face. He's assuming this is how you were before you came. No blessing. No glory. Nothing shining. You go to company and say, you go somewhere, they say, no, we don't want you. They close embassy against you. You go somewhere, they give everybody what you need to know. Three of you look on him. Look on his face. Look, put your eyes on his face. 
Nothing happened to three of you? Nothing? Now listen, this, I'm not just prophesying. I, I deeply meditated that you set your heart when I pray. The Lord bless you. Amen. It's just at his back. The Lord cause his face to shine on you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now without consciousness, stand. Come up. Stand here. Three of you, open your eyes. Put your face on the same man. That means after I spoke, something happened to this man. Now I'm going to pray for you. The same you. I decree the Lord bless you. The Lord cause his face to shine on you. In the name of Jesus. From this day, everywhere you go, it will be visible you are blessed. His glory will shine on you in the name of Jesus. If you believe it, say, I receive it. You will never appear anywhere in the world and not be celebrated in the name of Jesus. Anywhere you go, you will be celebrated in the name of Jesus. If you believe God's word, let your amen be with faith. You may be saved. He said, you'll be gracious what? I've gone to countries. I went to the United States years back. And stood on the line as a visitor. They have citizens and visitors. And I was, sang, sang, I was inside the crowd in a very long line. And the most powerful woman, you know, this is the most the top person at the airport. But the way she commanded, you know, she's a most senior. She did like this. Everybody was doing like this. When I did like this, they said, Yes, you. So I brought her my passport to let her know that I'm not an American. I mean, it's a green passport. She said, you like this. I let him come. I was not at this level to say, okay, maybe she saw me on television. She didn't know me. But his glory was on me. The Lord caused his face to shine. She said, come. She said, go to the citizen side, number one. <laughs> a visitor is not permitted to go there. But because of our position... Nobody could ask me a question. He said, go there. So I went to the front. The man asked, when are you going to say Friday? He said, okay. When I got to church and I asked them, I said, is it possible for a visitor to go to church? They said, no. I said, see you. You don't even have faith. I went through the city's line. <laughs> so even church people don't believe the Bible. And no question, I just entered. You know, the dignity of people were frowning their faces. It's not my business. Most citizens were standing. Everybody. When God bless you, anybody can frown. <laughs> I didn't kill. I didn't waste time. I held the line, I was the first to go out. This day, anywhere you go, the blessing will distinguish you. No matter where you are from the back, God will take you to the front. No matter where you are now, you'll be found in the front. If you believe in same man like a believer. In the name of Jesus. He said, the Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. The days of crisis, they are over. He said, and they shall put my name upon the children of Israel and I will bless them. You can see it visible. And said, destroy it not for a blessing is in it. From this day, you are indestructible because of the blessing. He said, the word that has gone out of my mouth shall not return unto me void. Isaiah 55 verse 11 and Isaiah 55 verse 8. Now I decree, the words I've declared walk in your life. If you believe in say amen like a believer. The blessing is an impartation. Of the supernatural power of God into another as spoken by a delegated authority of God. As the blessing is an impartation of the supernatural power of God into another 
are spoken by a delegated authority of God. Words are powerful. Words are what? God created things by words. When I hear this, many think <laughs> you get rich by how you struggle. He said, the blessing of the Lord, it make it rich. So it is not how many work you do. <laughs> he said, what makes you rich is the blessing. Proverbs 10, 22. He said, the blessing of the Lord, not the job, not where you're working. The blessing of the Lord make it rich. So what will make you rich is the blessing. Not the country where you dwell. Not where you walk. Not who you know. The blessing. From this day, your next breakthrough will come through the blessing. That Proverbs 10, 22. It is his blessing that guarantees abundance, not our struggles. True riches as a result of the blessing of God. Shout hallelujah. And in Genesis 27, verse 33, <laughs> And Isaac trembled very exceedingly and said, Who? You remember the story of Isaac and Jacob? Where is he that had taken venison and brought it to me? And I have eaten of all before thou camest. I have blessed him, yea, and he shall be blessed. He said, I have blessed him, it's too late. In my deep meditation, why couldn't Isaac reverse it? He said, I have blessed Jacob and he's blessed. Do you know in the lineage of that generation, Isaac was the only one who was blind? I'm going to use it to speak to you. Isaac was the only person. Abraham was not blind. Jacob was not blind. Joseph was not blind. But Isaac was blind. This is the reason. God knows that if left Isaac, he says, so you will pray for. But God said, I've ordained Jacob to be blessed. So I'll make sure you don't see. I don't I will hear you. I decree this day you are blessed. If you look verse 1 of that scripture, where I read 27 verse 1, for those who don't know the story, it says, and it came to pass that when Isaac was old, his eyes were what dim that he could not see. He was blind. God said, if you see, you will not allow Jacob get it. You will give it to his son. So I make sure you are blind. I don't know who hates you in life. I decree God will turn this just to bless you. I stand in my office and I declare you blessed in the name of Jesus. When Jesus was about to depart <laughs> in Luke 24, 50, 51, it's and he led them out as far as to Bethany. And he lifted up his hands and what? If you read the Bible, every new chapter of a man, you next you hear, God blessed him. Nobody can have a new story told. You can't have a new chapter of your life open without a blessing. Many of us are looking for the wrong things. Once God wants to write your story, the first thing we say, and God blessed him. I know this glory reign will open a new chapter in your life. And you know what I know? I didn't plan. He gave me the message himself. He said, the first message you preach is the blessing. That's why I told that. Look, if you miss today, you miss a lot. Because everything will be building on this. A blessed man, life has changed. Am I communicating with you? The blessing has the power to resurrect your dead business, your dead marriage, bring your joy, Guarantee your peace and prosper you. And today, Jesus lifted hands and did what? Blessed them. Is that true? And it came to pass. He blessed them and he parted from them and carried over. And as the Father sent him, so he sent us. He lifted his hands and what did he do? Now, the Father sent him, he sent me the same way. I pronounce you blessed in the name of Jesus. Now, listen, <laughs> I'm very deep in the blessing. I want somebody with physical pain in your body to come out. 
I have deep insight on the blessing. Somebody who has pain. Why use pain? Because pain you will know one, just one person. One person with pain. Young man, come. Allow him. Just him. Every other person stay where you are. Every other person stay where you are. All the other person. Where is the pain? Around there? Now listen. I'm not going to say be healed. Stand here. I will say be blessed. You'll be shocked. The pain will go. I'm not going to say be healed. All I will say is be blessed and check that pain. Now in the name of Jesus. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Move your body. I won't talk to you. Move your body. Move your body. Move it. Move your body. Do anything you could not do. Ask him. I can tell you with authority. Ask him anything. Papa, he says, since 1st January this year, I had this severe pain on his ribs. Very severe. He couldn't turn. Do something move his body. Now he can turn his body. He can move his body. You know why? <laughs> when God said be blessed, Adam was not sick. The moment the blessing left, sickness came. Adam was not poor with the blessing. Sickness was not there. I don't care the disease. I pronounce every sick be blessed in the name of Jesus. The blessing will give you everything you are looking for in the name of Jesus. The blessing will give you husband. The blessing will give you children. The blessing will give you healing. The blessing will give you prosperity. Whatever you are looking for, be blessed in the name of Jesus. Jesus, our children, most of them are in school, so I'll pray for them. In Mark 10, 16, check the Bible. 10, Mark 10, 16, Mark 10, 16. And he took them up in his arms, put his hands upon them. And what did he do? Talking about children. He blessed the children. What did Jesus do? He empowered the children to succeed. And as the father sent him, so I said, so look at your children with your eye of faith. Look at your children, wherever they are. Can you see your children? Grandchildren? Can you see them? Now I speak to all of our children globally. If they are close to you in the house, put your hand on them. If they are not close, just see your children and grandchildren. Now every child you see with your eyes, in the name of Jesus, I pronounce our children, grandchildren, and every child right now, blessed in the name of Jesus. I decree every child connected to you and I, Blessed in the name of Jesus. If you believe they are blessed, say amen. amen. Say my children are blessed. Say it one more time. No child from any of us will be a useless one. You hear me? The blessing is not visible, but the effects are visible. Blessing our causes are wars charged with supernatural power. It's from wars people are cursed. It's from wars people are blessed. Now I'm going to tell you how to provoke the blessing. How do I provoke what? The blessing. Shall I tell you? How many of you are getting blessed already? How many know their life can never be the same? Glory to God. You can never taste poverty in your life anymore. Yeah. A blessed man does not kill himself. How to provoke the blessing? Number one, through spoken words. Through what? Through spoken words. Genesis 1 28. And God blessed them, which I've done already. Is that through? Number two way to provoke blessing is through Titan. Through what? Titan. The man Abraham provoked the blessing when he paid tithe in Genesis chapter 14, 18 to 20. And the Melchizedek king of Salem brought forth bread and wine and was a priest of the Most High God. And he blessed him. Did you hear that? And said, blessed be Abraham of the Most High God, possessor of heaven and what? Earth. And blessed be the Most High God which had delivered thy enemies. To a hand and he gave him tithes of all. When Abraham paid tithe, what happened? He provoked what? The blessing. 
I said, many people don't know. He said, bring you all the tithe into my store. I have my house. I'm proving that you have not opened the window. I'm poor. You had what? He didn't say, poor. You had money. So, tithing brings the blessing. Malachi 310. I will bless you when you're a tither. So, here. Now, Adam tampered with the tithe. That was why the blessing left him. Listen, how do I know? There was no woman. So, Adam did not commit adultery. So, what did Adam do? Tight is the untouchable thing that you're not permitted. He said, take all of this food. This money is my own. So what Adam committed as sin was tight. He went and touched the untouchable. So God said, okay, take the fruit. I take my blessing. That was all Adam God did. He said, you take. That's when a man does not pay tight. God will allow you to take whatever you want to take. Take the money. He will take his blessing. Check when you don't pay tight. You will get money the way other people get money in the world. You will struggle. You will do kickback. You will kill people. You steal, but bless people, they don't do that. Anything they touch. So if you tamper with the tide, God will not worry you. you, you what you will do, you, you will take what? The blessing. And then you'll be struggling left hand. Right. Check all of you who don't pay tight. If not, your money is not too clean. You do not be the blessing. It will be GBT kind of money. You understand what I'm talking about? Glory to God. No problem. Take the tide. He takes what? What God did, God said, eat the fruit. I take my, continue. So the tithing is the restorer of the blessing. Is it the restorer of what? Yeah. Number three way to provoke the blessing, through honoring your parents. Through honoring what? Your parents. It's a honor that friend, that mother that may be well with you. That I may live long or what? On the earth. So, when Jacob honored his father, Isaac, in Genesis chapter 27, 2 to 4, 25 to 29. What happened? The father did what? The father blessed him. Hope you know that. What did the father do? All that Isaac pronounced on Jacob was what? It was blessing, not yet anything. He said, he said, bring me something I love. All those who had leave them, read 25 to 27. You can read 2 to 4 at home. So, so save time. And he said, bring it near to me, and I will eat of the son's venison. And read verse 25, 26, what time said. And Isaac his father said unto him, kiss me, 27, 28, 27. And he said, and he came near and kissed him and he smelled the smell of his servant. And what? What did he do? And he, and he just blessed him. And said, see, the smell of my son is and the smell of the field, which the Lord had worth. All that Isaac spoke on Jacob was worth. And that was only Jacob. Therefore the Lord give thee the dew of heaven and fatness of the earth and plenty of corn and wine. Let people do what? It's blessed man, people will serve you. From today, people will serve you. Nations will bow to you. You'll be lord over those who were, you were looking up to. Your mother's children will eat on your table. Anyone that costs you from today, I pronounce them cost. Anyone that is happy with you, job with you, that you are blessed, will also be blessed. If you are a believer, will receive this say amen like a believer? It was the blessing that made Jacob. And Galatians 4 28, what did he say? It's simple. It says, Now we, now we, bread as Isaac was, I trying to promise. So if Isaac pronounced blessing on Jacob, then it means if I pronounce it to walk. Am I talking? So I pronounce you blessed. People you are begging from will beg from you. Before this year is over, Somebody at the reach of my voice. Those who you are looking up to will look up to you. Those who are asking for transport money will ask you to buy them cars. If you believe it before next glory reign, it has happened in someone's life. I'm speaking with authority in the name of Jesus. The louder your amen, you have been done. It was a blessed mercy of Jacob that made him. To prevail and likewise take up on Joseph. Is that true? In Genesis 49 26, he said, The blessings of thy father have prevailed above the blessings of the what? Progenitors. Unto the uttermost bound of the everlasting his. They shall be on the head of who? Joseph. He just blessed Joseph. Joseph was so blessed. How can a man without credentials rule a nation? That man had no credentials, he didn't go to school. That it was not school in Egypt. 
Egypt was the center of civilization. How come a man was an illiterate in quote? An ex-convict, whether he liked it or not, he was an ex-convict. He didn't do it, but he was convicted. So by law, he was not qualified. He didn't have a, he was not qualified to register as a voter, not to be voted for. But there was only one credential he had, the blessing. I don't care how you are not qualified. The blessing will distinguish you in the name of Jesus. The blessing will distinguish you in the name of Jesus. The blessing will distinguish you in the name of Jesus. If you are the one, let your amen confirm it. There are spiritual fathers when they speak on you. The king called Elisha, my father, my father. Second Kings 621. So we are fathers. When you honor us, you are blessed. Are you getting what I'm talking about? How do I promote the blessing number four? By being a blessing. By being what? Bless. Genesis 12, 2. And I'll bless you, and that shall be a blessing. If you stop being a blessing, the channel of blessings coming to you will also close, be closed. God will not bless you beyond your blessing on his kingdom. So if you want to promote the blessing, keep blessing what? The kingdom of God. Psalm 102, 13 and 14. The time to fear come here is set time. If you take pleasure in folding doors, they're off. Fifth way to provoke the blessing through prayer. Through what? Through prayer. Jacob saw his life that it was not going the way he wanted. Genesis chapter 32, 24, 28. Jacob was left alone. There are times in your life you should be left alone. Only you. You are looking at your life, not just going. In the next few minutes, I will leave you to pray. And they are wrestling men with him until the breaking of the day. <laughs> and when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he told the hollow of his time. And the hollow of his, Jacob's time was out of joy. And he wrestled what? What was the only thing he was looking for? He said, let me go for the day breaking. And he said, I will not let you go except thou. He said, the only thing that will change me is the blessing. And if I get it, my life will never be the same. I said to him, what is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And, said, and he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob or what? That is with the blessing I'm going to change you from an individual to an institution. He changed you from a person to a nation with blessing. Somebody who today looking for a job, before this time next year, you'll be an employer of labor. He changed him with the blessing from a single man to a nation. The blessing is changing someone's status who say amen in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, a young man called Jabez. Jabez, you all know the story. <laughs> 9 and 10. First Chronicle 4, 9 and 10. And Jabez was more honorable. He was honorable than his brethren. That they call you honorable doesn't mean you are honorable. If you don't have blessing, there's no honor inside. I've seen many honorables who are trekking. They just say honorable. You say honorable. No. <laughs> it's blessed people who are really honorable. It's blessed people are what? Honorable. If you're not blessed, you're not honorable. And it's what I call it. Jabez said, look, all this big, big title you are giving me, it's not working. <laughs> and it's what I call it, what? Jabez saying, I boy with sorrow. You know, there's a way your family will suffer. They now use it to name you. After Sibu, <laughs> where my parents came from, they call a man Igwe. Igwe means poverty. This man, I grew up knowing him as a poor man till he died. So sometimes they look at you, they say, better trouble. They look at you, the events of the family, they not look at you. Nothing go better for this house. So they not put in your language, nothing go better for this house. They not give you the name to you, nothing go better for this house. So you, you just grow up, nothing is working for you. But today, it go better for you. Yeah. And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, he, Jacob best understood that the first thing that would change him is the blessing. He said, if thou wouldest bless me indeed. Look, don't ask for material things when you're praying. Always ask, oh God, bless me. If God bless you, forget his suffering has ended. Don't say, oh God, give me car. Oh God, give me house. Oh God, give me husband. Just say, oh God, bless me. When God bless a man, Wow. It's life a turn. If God bless that ministry, it will never beg. 
If God bless that company, it will never go down. And today, that gives the blessing will rest on you. Hey, God is giving me a deep revelation, but I won't remove my suit because I didn't wear a vest coat. He's giving me very deep insight. I want someone, I'll use somebody who has three pieces. Come, quickly, you have three pieces, so come. You are very fat, but come. This is what the blessing is. I'm getting very deep revelation. <laughs> come. You <too>. You are busy. Come. Now, the blessing, remove this quote from, from me. This man, what? Come. You come. All of the three pieces, three pieces. Maybe tomorrow I'll, I'll wear three pieces. <laughs> this is what the blessing is. The blessing is quote on you. Now, this man, look at him. I'm coming on that form. Just stand together. Three of you stand. Three of you stand on a straight line. Go walk from here to here. Just walk across. Walk across. Cross them. Nothing happened? This time when you are not carrying blessing, this is how your life has been. It, it goes somewhere. No really function. Come. The same you. This is what the blessing is. Holy Spirit is the blessing. Remove it. I didn't want to remove my own. If I remove my own, you say it's nine quote. We don't know what you put on top. <laughs> you know, people, people are everywhere. Now, Father, put on him the blessing. This is what the blessing is. This is it. In the name of Jesus, the blessing is on you. Say, you, know, you are very far. This man's good. Can't go. <laughs> <laughs> you, you understand? But whatever, I just alight. The blessing is now on you. Say amen. Amen. Now, the same you. I mean, you are afraid before. Where is the next message? Are you afraid? No, 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 no. no go to the other side. Why are you afraid? <laughs> now, the same you that went past, nothing happened. Go and walk past them. Go. Just go. Go, go down and walk past them. Walk past them. You see what will happen. Something happened? Yes. Even him, you can see him vibrating. <laughs> the blessing now work on you in Jesus' name. Amen. All of you get blessed with that suit. We touch everyone. You get blessed, everybody. Amen. <laughs> so if that's a raise my hands, I bless. Just sing it. If you're blessed, anything you touch will just be going. If you touch Jesus, now bring his blessed coat. Amen. Put, put on him too as a blessed man. Amen. Now, watch him too. He will not be able to stand. His own suit before. Look at him. He's blessed now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, how many of you want to wear the blessing? Now, in the name of Jesus, the blessing now envelop you. God himself clothed you with the blessing. Say, I have the blessing on me. See it with faith. I offer, I have the blessing on me. Say it and confess it with faith. Say it one more time. Now, the blessing on you from today make the difference in your life. The Lord, that your amen, you have it done. In the name of Jesus. You may be seated. That's why Jabez said, I want to be blessed. He said, and enlarge my coast. He was praying Genesis 1 to the earth. Be fruitful, multiply, replenish, and protect me. He said three things there. Bless me, increase me, preserve me. May the three become your portion. You know why I'm praying? Because every man blessed, people will hate you. There is nobody blessed of God that people don't make whom. So after this service, even your neighbors make whom. Because when you are blessed, the difference will show. It will show. It doesn't take time. They say, we know this man was living at the back. Is he the owner of that estate? He's a thief. They will still call you names. So God had to preserve you because if he blesses you, who will be many? There must be... I decree as you are blessed, God preserve your life. Amen. God preserve your children. Amen. God preserve what concerns you. Amen. The enemy will not have access to you. Amen. As a blessed person in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you believe in say amen. amen. Every blessed person is an envy to people and hell. When God bless Isaac, the whole Philistines 
Envy them. You can't be blessed and not be envied. If people know you before, they will say, don't mind him. He's a thief. You are not a thief. He's a blessing. Even Joseph's brothers hated him because of the blessing. So in case after now, somebody says, oh, don't be surprised. Because there must be for every blessed person. They expect you to be on the floor, but you'll be at the top. Yeah. Even if you're at the top, you get to the another topmost top. Yeah. You see, if all of us are at the up, will there be a chance? The stars, all of them shine. There's no star not shining. So everybody who is hearing my voice will shine after today. Yeah. Six way to provoke it is through work. Through what? Through work. W-R-K. A blessed Adam. But Adam did not stay idle, he worked. In Genesis 2.15. And Genesis 28 verse 8, he will bless the work of your hands. So blessed people are not permitted to remain idle. The idleness blocks the blessing. Blocks what? Because you are not closing the channel where the blessing will be flowing through. That's why every blessed man must be busy doing something. So here. Number seven, through obedience. Through what? Genesis, sorry, Deuteronomy chapter 28, 1 and 2. It shall come to pass, if thou shall hearken not diligently to the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments, which I commanded this day, and the Lord thy God shall set thee on high above what? All nations of the earth. There's a pastor here with waist pain. I hear God. There's somebody here with waist pain. Who is the person with waist pain? You are the one? Come. Come, come, come. The pain is not funny. It's a very serious way pain. Now listen, it said because of the blessing, see what will happen to you. Come, my friend. It will heal every sick. Just watch. It is blessed. Now, young man, I will joke you, but I'm serious. You are blessed. Amen. Move your waist. You will be shocked. There will be no pain. Move your waist. There will be no pain. Move your waist. There will be no pain. Move. Move it. Move it. Move. <laughs> you know what God said to me? He said, as you are speaking, the blessed, I want to heal. Cases that medically are hopeless. Move your body. Doc, you can ask him. That's it. You came all the way from Italy. So, ask him. Is the word? For over two weeks. For over two weeks? severe waist pain, yes. Even, eh? even during flight, he had to stand up. He uh, cannot sit for long. Let him talk to himself. He's a pastor. I said, even because of that, because of long I have to stand all through the flight time because of the pain. Well, the pain? I mean, that's what God had to tell me. We've no, not spoken. It's, not. it's God, sir. <laughs> if we have spoken, maybe you said that I have an idea. We've not spoken. I know him, but we've not spoken. This is the first time I've seen you too as you came. Yes, sir. Uh, and I don't want any medical condition that is giving you concern. The blessing immediately bring back that your body. <laughs> Immediately, not gradually, your body is. Full. I hear God. Somebody with BP is healed. Yeah. Somebody who has high blood pressure, you are healed. Yeah. Everybody with medically complicated cases is healed. Yeah. Whether online in church with a blessing in the name of Jesus, yeah. you are healed. Yeah. It's done. He said, and all this blessing shall come. So when you obey, blessing just come to you. Is that clear, Look at the man Abraham in Genesis 22, 16 to 18. And said, by myself, by my son, said the Lord, because thou hast done this thing and hast not withheld thy son, thy only son, that in blessing I will bless thee. Maro, break it, dear Katar. And in multiplying, I will multiply thy seeds at the stars of heaven and at the sand that is upon the seashore. And thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. But has obeyed my voice. When you obey his voice, he blesses you. That through you, through what? One man's obedience, Jesus brought all of us. When you obey, the blessing goes beyond you. 
to Abraham obedience has brought all of us to enjoy the blessing. It will be with you. Amen. Shout a better amen. amen. I heard a word. There's a lady who cannot plait you. You can't do anything on your hair because you have this terrible headache that has made you not to do your hair. You're on permanent low cut. You are healed. Amen. If they touch your hair, it's as if your sky here is going to pieces. So don't do anything on your hair for long. Terrible. You're healed. Amen. Go back, no single pain on that scar. Obedience is doing whatever God has instructed you to do. Obedience brings the blessing. Brings what? It was through disobedience man lost the blessing. Also through obedience man can be restored to the blessing. Shout hallelujah. Then I close with channels through which God blesses before I minister. I'm going to minister in a very strange way. My God. I don't say I've closed though. I'll come to my wife and say, you behave like your father. You say, in conclusion, but we have not concluded. <laughs> you say, yeah, your father. When we say, in closing, we should wait again. You say, finally, then we will hear again. You say, you have taken everything from your father. We say, finally. Then finally, we'll still be waiting. Yet, we will still go on. Amen. So, channels through which God blesses. Channel through which what? From God, A, from God directly. From God who? Directly from God. He blesses directly by himself. When he was to bless Abraham, Genesis 22, 16 to 18, we saw that God himself blessed him. Who blessed him? And First Chronicle 4, 9 and 10, God himself blessed Jabez. Jabez. So God can bless you directly. And today he will bless you. B, through priestly pronouncement. Through what? We read it in Numbers 6, 22-27. Abraham, the blessed, was a product of priestly blessings. Genesis 14, 18-20. So when the priest say you are blessed, you are what? Blessed. You can, that one was practically demonstrated now. Is that true? You saw it. When the priest will speak over your life. And then you are what? Blessed. <laughs> Am I talking to you? Please, I didn't come here to just get you excited. I came here with life because I want somebody... It's time for you as a child of God to remain blessed. So when they see you, they say, brother, look, if you're blessed, even if you're selling water, whatever, <laughs> if you're selling anything you touch, tap, 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 everything you touch prospers. When you say blessed man, there's nothing you touch that will not prosper. Everybody can be doing that to not succeed. When you do it, you succeed. Three, C. Through divine ideas. It blesses through what? Divine ideas. Malachi 3.10. I'll open the windows of... That open the windows of heaven is to give you ideas. Don't think that the God will you and pour you money. It gives you what? Ideas. I'll open the windows of heaven and pour you at what? The rain is talking about ideas. Genesis 7 verse 11 where God talked about rain for the first time. Now, for instance, Jacob built the first cantor ranch. Is that through? Through ideas. Through what? It was smarter than his competitors through inspired ideas. Genesis 30, 30 verse 37. So when God wants to bless you, he blesses you through what? Today, beginning you have ideas. And to succeed in business, what do you need? Ideas. So the blessing today will give you ideas. Say so here. Say so here. Listen, if God wants to bless you, his ideas. Everything that is working with me is what? Ideas. Not that I'm the greatest preacher, but ideas. You can't pursue me and reach me. We started Night of Glory. People say Night of Glory everywhere. I shifted five nights of glory. Go five nights of glory, I shifted that glory rain. If you want to rain with me, I'll shift again. <laughs> It is not because I'm stronger, but it keeps giving me what? Ideas. Not today. In your business, in ministry, in your career, you will never lack ideas. Yeah. When God gives a man ideas, you are just there. They rated the best 100 Swanee schools in Nigeria. Our school is number one. Our Swanee school. 
above the King's Colleges or the Lyota, whatever, above all. This is a school that just started. The kind of thing we are doing there is not found anywhere in the world. It's not school. Not established by an education, it's established by a pastor. It's ideas. God gave me an inspiration that I wrote in a book so I can share it now because it's already open an inspiration. It's open to everybody. We have children from other countries in that school. People are taking their children abroad. People are from abroad taking their children to our school. Listen. When we start university, you see ideas that are not found in any book. If you, all you do about education is what you are taught, you can't make it. You are sad. Ideas have to come beyond school, even your office. Are you getting what I'm talking about? I've touched on the transformation center before. That is not found anywhere in the world. It's for me that people will do it. Now listen, let me share it with you because it's good to share testimonies. Because most of you are into education. Now when a child misbehaves in any school, they suspend him. Through? It's a normal thing. Any university or Sunday school, you misbehave when the schools were attended. If you misbehave, they suspend you. They expel you in some cases. And that is a normal practice in all schools. If a child is heady, they say, go home. You have been suspended. Two weeks, some cases they expel you. Now, then, how come Christian schools will still suspend children? The reason parents bring children to Christian schools is so that Christian schools can mold them through. And you must have bad children. There's nowhere there are no bad children. So the bad ones, how do you do? They brought them there for them. You don't know what to do. So, a single mother had a son and they, sus they expelled this boy from the school. This man cried like somebody who has lost a child. The compassion in me well up. He said, I brought this boy so that he can change. If you take him here, I'm dead. I said, did anybody die? No, but I, my son is expelled. Ah, the tears jumped into my system. I said, God, what do I do? If this boy, say, if this boy go. So I walked around the school. In a deep meditation, he inspired me. He said, now establish a transformation center. I said, what do you mean? He said, everybody character is molded through the world. He said, separate the students of who are misbehaving. Put them in a separate place and feed them with the world for 21 days and then bring them back. Their mind will be renewed, not to misbehave. So I called the chaplain. I said, chaplain, come. Schedule every point. If you steal, we give you scriptures on how not to steal. If you're a bully, we give you scriptures on how not to be a bully. If you're the type that lie, we tell you how, why you should not lie. So we feed you. You will not do sports. You go to a class. You come back, stay in one place. We transfer and 90 something percent success. So, we, a particular boy was the most stubborn. He became the best before he graduated. That the parents had to testify that if they were to train him, nothing this world can make them train him like this. That boy would slap everybody, slap him. Boy. But when he was living, if you talk to him, he would be doing like this. The same boy who was fighting everybody. Now, you can't read that from any school. They don't write in any school how to train children. There's no faculty of wisdom in any school. So the blessing gives you what? This day beginning, I speak to your mind. Creative ideas will come to you in the name of Jesus. D, through divine favor. Through divine what? Favor. Exodus 3, 21, Psalm 45, verse 12. May God favor you. E, through the work of your hands. Psalm 1, verse 3. Oh, I'm about to minister. And we close in the next 10 minutes. Let's take one song and I minister, we close. How many of you want miracles of all kinds with a blessing? Let's rise because some, somebody who is sleeping will not sleep. Amen. If you get up and you sit down, sleep will leave you. Oh yeah, let's worship with, for the next three minutes and then I'll come to close with ministration. On the blessing. On the what? 
I'm going to minister and expect miracles to happen of all kinds in Jesus' name. All right, let's go. Are you not said? Where? Sing one song now. Otherwise, pastors will be singing on. You mighty and holy. You are lifted up above all. You are mighty. You're so holy and holy. You are lifted up above So we worship, so we worship you, Almighty, Almighty God. Yes, you are lifted up. Lord, you will lift it up all over. And so we worship, worship you, Almighty, Almighty. Yes, you will lift it up. Lord, you will lift it up all over. And you are mighty. You're so holy, Lord, and holy. You are lifted up, you are lifted up, I go over. I'm going to minister, connecting it with the blessing. In Hebrews, I'm listening from Hebrews chapter 10, verse 14. Please follow, because this one will put a seal on all the miracles. Miracles of all kinds have happened. For by one offering, he had perfected forever two words, them that are sanctified. Are you born again? That's what made the altar call first. Two words stand out, perfected and forever. Take note of those two words. Perfected and what? If the Bible is your old, you didn't borrow it, underline those two words. Perfected and forever. Jesus died and rose for us to enjoy the fullness of God's blessings. I repeat, Jesus died and rose. I'm, I'm about to minister in every area. He died and rose for you and I to enjoy. That's how Paul said, I come in the fullness. He was saying that because he said, the reason why I came is because you can enjoy the blessing in full. In what? Not half measure. You should enjoy blessing half half. If you get money and you're sick, the blessing is not working fully. Because the sickness will take the whole money you have. So he said, I came in the fullness so that everything that we can make life sweet, you will receive them. How many want that kind of life? You like it? You like it? You know, when you are not blessed, have you ever been broke? Say the truth. Have you been broke before? Okay. You know, when you're broke, this is how you count money. Have you made that bad? You will leave that realm. You know, your saliva, you use it to count money. And if your children carry 1,000, you carry BK. You say, line up all of you. This 1,000 that is missing in this house, sometimes they didn't steal it. You didn't know where they kept it. You will not carry cane. You say, I will kill all of you. <laughs> you say, why? 1,000. You are hurt, it's been challenged. They say, go for treatment. It's a God day. He said, be treated because of this thing. Even your neighbors will see you. They say, how now? Have you not seen when poverty holds you? Your relations will not even remember that your relations. He said, are two of you related? They say, um, it's my father's brother. That will end today. But have you been blessed? Where have you been those who are far? They say, my great-grandfather 
and his own father with my father I won. <laughs> Somebody came long ago, life story, and came and said, do you know me? I said, sir, I don't know you. He said, your grandmother. He now called my grandmother's name. I said, no, but I didn't meet her. My mother's mother, I didn't meet her. He said, their family and our family are one. He said, if your mother was alive, she would have told you that I am from the same lineage. I said, yes, sir, sorry. Oh. But nobody ever said that some years back to me. One day, Pastor, my PA was here. One man draw a genealogy, like the way they did that, beget that, that, beget that, that, beget that. And he gave me beget from about 14 generations or 13, I don't know, to, to my own. That even me did not know the names. He said, this beget this one, this one beget this, and get this, and this is how we are linked up. He not draw the arrow, link it. I said, PA, I'm big. <laughs> He traced the genealogy. I said, that is how two of us are connected. I said, thank you, sir. <laughs> this history is too loaded. After today, everybody wants to identify with you. <laughs> Please don't mind where you are. I'm not speaking idle words. You can see the sea God telling me they are healed. So don't think I'm joking. <laughs> Somebody, they will use you as a reference. <laughs> That's why God gave me this message for you. This is a message he told me, he said, this should be the first message. When my people are blessed, the difference will show. Do you know if all of us are blessed, no sinner who will not respect you. Because even if you're a gatekeeper, you'll be the gatekeeper. Then any day you are at the gate, the man will know that things are happening. Any day you're not at the gate, things will happen upside down. He said, bring that man to me, will keep you my gate. Now listen. No man figure one. I said Jesus died and rose for us to enjoy that. The fullness of what? Jesus was punished that you may be forgiven. He was punished that you be what? Forgiven. That's the reason for the blessing. In 7 Corinthians 5 verse 21. It said, he has made him to be sin for us. Who knew no sin? That he might be made the righteousness of him and who? Of God in him. Isaiah 53, verse 10. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He had put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed, he shall prolong his days, and the blood of the Lord shall prosper in his head. Now listen. If God wants to bless you, sin has to go. And Jesus came for that purpose. I went to a place called Bayasa State. Bayasa is a state in Nigeria. It's at the end of Nigeria. They are called the Ijo tribe of Nigeria. These people had a problem that could not be solved physically. Everybody from the Ijo tribe that gets into office will not serve two terms. From the history of a Jewish tribe. From Jethro's Piv, God told me down the lineage to a kilo. That is, even if the person is serving another state, the person will serve only once and the second time they will terminate the appointment. And then he got to a point, a man called Dixon was governor. He said, I sent you to break this demonic force. So I went for a crusade. Everybody from the Jaw tribe, whether Calabari or Krika, Bonny, as long as the person has any Jaw blood, will never serve a second time. He won't serve his office. It was a satanic plague. And I got there and I said, This day, because of this moment, this curse is broken. Now, Dixie was not liked by the people, but he was the first. And he came for that crusade. He was the first to serve two times. Because of one word. I don't know which sin has brought a plague on your family. By the blessing of God today, it will never repeat again. <laughs> Jesus came to rescue you. I decree that thing occurring seasonally as ended today. <laughs> now listen, 
I will speak in parable because I don't want to be connected. I will speak in thick parable. There's a crisis in a state, and I won't call the name of the state. They can never solve it physically. Because it's a spiritual crisis. I spoke to one of them. I said, it is not a physical crisis. From everybody who has been there to that one will always fight in the next one. It has been four generations they've been fighting each other. So it has to be broken. No physical means, no president can solve it. It's a spiritual problem. And I, I'm privileged to know it. Are you getting me? But no doctor goes to a patient. There's no physical means they can solve that problem. It has been from one person to another to another. To, check them. All of them have been fighting each other. That fight can only stop if a man of God says, end. But because maybe I'm here, today I, I command that evil to stop. It is not a physical fight. People think it's physical. No, no, no. I don't want to call names. Each one was fighting each other. Just check. From, I'll take the years from 90 something. I, I don't know when, when, uh, when uh, Babangida was uh, president and the civilians were really with you. Which year was that? Was when Babangida was president and he ruled with some civilians. When year was that? Whatever year you know it. When Babangida was president, those who ruled with him, River State, it, that's where it started. That person, the other person fought the person. The next person fought the person. The other person fought the person. The other person fought the person. That's how it has been. It's a spiritual problem. But because he sent me, I command that plague to come to an end. All this one they are doing fiscally, I just laugh. I say, I wish they know there's a spiritual problem. You don't use physical means to solve that problem. I don't know what you are going through. Maybe your grandfather was so wicked. And then the whole brothers you have, you are born again, you are not affected, but your brother, you know, if you are the only rich man in your family, you know his problem. All your brothers, no one is working for, but I decree to the mercy will preserve over judgment. <laughs> mercy will preserve over judgment. <laughs> I decree mercy to answer to you in the name of Jesus. I speak mercy to answer to that family in the name of Jesus. If you believe it, say amen like a believer. He was made sin with our sinfulness for us to enjoy his righteousness. Number two, Roman figure two. Jesus was wounded that we might be healed. The blessing does not permit you to remain sick. As I have three, four and five. So will I receive it by faith? Now listen, surely he had bore our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem and stricken as the of God and afflicted. He was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquity, the chastisement appealed upon with his stripes. Right Under the blessing of God, hear me, no matter the sickness, I pronounce you healed. <laughs> Under the blessing of God, I don't care the sickness. You saw that pastor? He was healed. Now every sick, whether in the hospital, be healed in the name of Jesus. Just receive it by faith. Now you are pronounced healed in the name of Jesus. Number three, Jesus offered the gift of eternal life and delivered us from dead. By the blessing. He offered us the gift of what? Eternal life and deliverance from death. <laughs> you know this scripture, you quote it to Romans 6, 23. But I'm going to bring it deep inside. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Christ. So eternal life is a gift. Don't you just read it. No. He said the wages of sin is death. Both the gift of God, eternal life is God's kind of life. So if you are born again, the blessing is that you should have, can you have this kind of life and be sick? Can you have this life and die? Can arm robbers terminate your life? Can any sickness kill you? Now be blessed with the gift of life. 
that amen is not strong. Everybody dead is threatening. I decree the life of God go into your you now. You are blessed with life in the name of Jesus. That child is blessed with life in the name of Jesus. If you believe in sight, receive it. For Jesus became poor that you might enjoy his riches. 7 Corinthians 8 9. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor. That through his poverty might be rich. True? In your line, they decree you, there will be no poverty. Yeah. That is your own amen. Do you know when you are blessed, you can't be poor? A blessed person can never be poor. The blessing of the Lord make it what? So, how can God bless you and you become poor? Do you know poverty is not of God? It's a curse. Now, I decree. Okay, you believe Jesus died for your sins? How many believe Jesus died for your sins? He died also for you not to be poor. He said, I'm poor because of our country. It's a lie. You are poor because of ignorance. Today is the last day you'll be broke. <laughs> I say poverty has left your life. It has left your family. By the blessing of God, you will never be amongst the poor. Okay, listen. Jesus came on earth as at that time alone and as the only blessed of the Lord. He said, you have the poor always with you, but me that is blessed, I'm not too poor. And he died so you and I can enter. You saw the first message that Pastor Samson taught. We have been drafted into that family, true? Listen, the Holy Ghost gave me very physical illustration. Can the prince of the family of, for my queen is still the most popular. This one, King, now we don't even know what. To. The Queen Elizabeth and now King Charles. That family, can anybody born into that family be poor? Hmm? Do they need to pray to be rich? By bat, they have owo. By bat, they have ego. By bat, they have kudi. By bat, they have dollar, pounds, and any currency. Just born into that family. Are you born to the family of God? Are you born into that family? You're sure? I decree from today, poverty will never be your identity. You know why I hate poverty? Oh. I hate it with everything inside me. When you are poor, your language will not be strong. Have you been broke before? Even when you can make case, you won't make case. He said, Well, our family, we don't like trouble. It's a lie. It's a lie. He said, We don't like trouble. Our it's a lie. Because you don't have to like trouble. Trouble is part of. When people get money, they say, No, listen, listen to me. If you deal with me, I deal with you. Even when you pack and they are asked, say, Who are you? When you have money, do you know confidence comes when you're rich? Yes. Even when you're walking on the road, you are confident. Is anything going to happen? Money didn't send my hand. <laughs> but when you are broke, you say, I don't want trouble. If anything happens, I will be. <laughs> you will never be poor. Yes. Listen, I've been poor before, so I know that you know I've been poor before. When your mother, when you're going, you say, I want to tell you, and they throw your ear out. Don't look for trouble. Don't look for trouble. Because if they arrest you, nobody. They will throw your ear. Throw your ear. Look, I'm telling you, don't look for trouble. Even when the person is looking for your trouble, you have to keep quiet. Because if you go anywhere, no way. But when you have it, it's, I'm telling you, if you do not say, my friend, I'll deal with you. Your language will change. From today, your language will be strong. I speak, you will never be poor. Your lineage will never be poor. Yes, you will be out of the poverty realm. Yes, now listen, I know when I'm talking, somebody say, hey, wait, hey, me, I'll be poor man. If you have money for only your family, you're a poor man. Yes. Now you have money, buy a car, build a house, your children, you're a poor man. Yes. You are only a wealthy man when you can touch other people's lives. Yes. You and your family is poverty. I will bless you, that shall be a blessing. Anybody who has money, my children are overseas, I have a car, you're a poor man. So don't get cocky, my friend, you are, you are a poor man. 
Those who want to be rich are the ones who I'm talking about. You get money. You train children. I paid my last 60th bed. I paid school fees for 1,000 children. Are you going to answer that? 1,000 what? It didn't shake me. You can't be poor. Pay school fees for 1,000 people. You know, Matthew, if it's one another. <laughs> I pay school fees in billions. My money. That is, but I've been broke before. I told you that 997, me and my wife was 15 naira. We had a home. So I know what I'm talking. I'm speaking with, because I've been there. So I don't want anybody to be there. By this time next year, you'll be sharing testimony with Sheikh Nations. In the name of Jesus. Finally, and I close. This one is finally. <laughs> I'm closing. No, it's the final. Number five. Jesus became a curse that we might receive the blessing. Jesus became what? That you and I might receive the blessing. Galatians 3, 13, 14. I'm closing with it. This is final. <laughs> this is final. I'm not going to go beyond this till tomorrow. Now listen. I don't care. Nobody should think of any deliverance. This is the last day. All this course is following my family. It has ended. Christ had redeemed us from the curse of the law. Be made a curse for us. For it is a curse is everyone that hanged on a tree that the blessing of Abraham might come upon me, David Biomir. Call your name there. Through Jesus Christ that we might receive the promise of spiritual faith. So just have faith. In case you have passed through it, no, sickness is a curse. Poverty is a curse. Untimely death is a curse. True? Anything cursed today is ending for your, in your life. Yes. Two things are prayed. Curses are prayed by spoken word. Blessings are prayed by spoken words. Yes. Everybody, listen. Curses are prayed by what? Every curse are prayed by spoken words. Blessings are prayed by spoken words. Christ has brought you to a point where curses should go and blessings will come. Am I talking to you? <laughs> That's the purpose of this meeting. I don't know. Some of you, you know that this is not normal. Everybody will go there. When you go there, they say no. They say, what did they happen now? You prepare for wedding. It's the day of wedding. The man will say, I will not marry you again. That is not of God. Every curse that has followed you before today is completely wiped off. Christ has redeemed you to enjoy the blessing. If there be any part of your life, stand up because I'm closing, stand up. Any part of your life where the blessing is not reflecting, I decree the blessing to show now in the name of Jesus. Had redeemed you, so all I need to do is to accept it by faith. By what? Just to accept the redemption by faith. You say, but why am I not getting blessed? You may not be conscious of the blessing. You know it by theory, but you are not conscious of it. Now you are conscious that carry what? The blessing. Joseph was too conscious. He said, I saw you people. Now listen. When you read, he said, I saw other stars. That means all of them were stars. That means all of them were not small. He so said there were 11 stars, true? So the other ones too were stars. But he said, my own stood upright. Was it any prophecy? No. There was no way to prophesy that Joseph would be their head. Nowhere. He was the one who saw it. The prophecy said to Abraham, his great grandfather, he had prepared it to himself. So two of us can be born again. It depends on what I see. Now you know that you're a carrier of what? The blessing. So the way you will walk will be different from when you came before now. You are so conscious that life cannot be like before again. He said, Christ has redeemed you from scratching. From what? Hand to mouth, bill upon 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 bill. You have been paying bill for years. Christ has redeemed you from that. That's a curse. The bills are heaped up. That's a curse. He has redeemed you from the curse of such. 
And the blessing of God is upon who? Upon who? Upon who? Upon who? Upon who? For your sake, even your, it was Abraham's sake that God blessed Lot. For your sake, your lineage will not operate under curses. God, give me a word. Do you know your child giving you problem is a curse? There are children that give problems like this, you can't concentrate. Such persons, those children are delivered now. When a child becomes heady, it's a problem to the parents. You say, what is this? That's a curse. Whatever looks like a curse in our lives, today it is over. The blessing of the Lord rests on you. I give you the next four, five minutes to pray. You pray like Jebez and pray like Jacob. Lord, every word pronounced on me on the blessing walk in my life. I am blessed of God and the blessing must speak from today. Because it is what you give expression to that walk in you. Lord, today beginning, I walk in the blessing. I walk in the conscious of the, anything contrary to the blessing, get out of my life. Are you ready to pray for yourself? Go ahead in the name of Jesus.
to put the blessing on your life. We had the blessing as a cloth. Blessing upon you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Look at somebody. You shall have whatever you say. Look at the person. I have the blessing. I have the blessing. Don't say blessing. I am a carrier of the blessing. Prophesy to look at someone and confess it. I'm a carrier of the blessing. You shall have whatever what you say. Now, as you have declared it, even if you are alone in the room, you from today, the blessings speak in your life. Amen. Watch it. You see the difference from now. Are you hearing what I'm saying? 